our ancient antiphon, the Lord says to Simon Peter, I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And once you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we join with the church to share, uh, to celebrate the feast of the chair of St. Peter, uh, in order to acknowledge his authority and his response um, to, uh, to the church. And um, the, re the um, special intention for this Mass is for repose of the soul of Raymond Martinez. And with that in mind, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves for this sacred mystery. Lord, you came to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to reconcile sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at, at the, the right hand of the Father. Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempest may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ, and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint, but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff, they give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me. In the sight of my foes, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. The gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of the nether world shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. When we was a little um, a child, our parents used to teach us who Jesus is. And then when we growing up, we go to church, and then we join the faith formation, we learn more about who Jesus is. But then, during right now, when people give us a different definition about Jesus, especially when we have to remain in the chaos of the society, in the challenges of the pandemic, and in many barriers in our daily life, the question that Peter used to have before just echo in our mind every single day. But then how about you? Who do you think that I am? Will we just learn like Peter Continue to affirm as we say it, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Will we continue to pray God as we say in the responsible psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Please stand. Trusting in his care and concern for us, let us bring our petitions to God. For Pope Francis and all who care for the Lord's flock, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with leadership throughout the world, may Christ inspire them to grow in virtue, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those sick, in mind, body, or spirit. May God console them and provide for their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may God grant us the fortitude to be peacemakers in our families and in our communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for the repose of the soul of Ramon Martinez, for whom this mass is being offered, May they receive from Christ the unfading crown of glory and rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us offer our own intentions in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of the church you have promised to watch over and reserve until the end of time through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who came to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruits of the earth and work of human hands we become for us the breath of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruits of the vine and work of human hands we become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept with favor, O Lord, we pray, the prayers and offerings of your church that we send Peter at her shepherd. She may come to you an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in his incredibility, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Live up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not be desert your flock, but through the pastor's apostle, watch over it and protect its own way, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed as shepherds to lead it in the name of your son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending out your spirit upon them like a dewfall so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave us to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. 
he gave us to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have also worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Homely we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Calvin, Timothy, Titan, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face and most on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the same command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Believe us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days and by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we well await the blessed hope at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Dear Jesus, Come into my heart and be with me today. Amen. The communion antiphon, Peter said to Jesus, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus replied, you are Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church.
God, who at your celebrate at our celebration of the feast day of the blessed Apostle Peter, have nourished us by the communion in the body and blood of Christ. Grant we pray that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Peter, Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel. Defend us. us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May, May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all the evil spirit who prowls about the world seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in joy and peace glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God. You better give Jack his. A prayer of strength and protection for priests and religious. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Thank you. 